Hi everyone! Today's project is to clean out my cutlery drawer. It used to be semi-organized before um, my husband and my baby um, came along. So you can see now I have a lot of things that are in the wrong place. So I purchased an expandable cutlery organizer from Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm going to attempt to um, take out the things that belong in the other drawer to my right and the things that maybe we, we just don't even use anymore and clean it up. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to prop up uh, the camera and I apologize if it's a little shaky in the process. Okay, so to help me with my organization, I got out two bins. If you've looked at my blogs before, you know I have tons of these from my former classroom. I got them at really good stuff. And today I'm just going to use two of them to um, separate out the things that maybe were the babies and things that go in a different drawer. So like things that we don't need right now and things that belong in the drawer to my right. Okay, so here I go. First, what I'm going to do is take out all the knives. This is our silverware and all the spoons and all the forks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the spoons over here because to me, visually, it makes more sense to go up in size from smallest to largest. In the back here, this little spot back here, I think I'm going to put the baby's spoons and forks and that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm noticing that I have a lot of spoons in here. His little first spoons that he doesn't use anymore. So, that stuff can go in here. All these the little bitty, like, four-month spoons. Okay, these ten-month spoons I'm going to keep because he... Um, uses those himself. So I'm going to put those back there. He still uses those. And his set, first set of cutlery and his fork he used this morning. So I'll put that in there. That fits pretty good. In fact, I could probably pare it down a little bit more. Okay, so that works. So, oh, and I've got serving dishes. This, I don't even know where that came from. It belongs to somebody else. These I use spreaders, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. These little teeny spoons, they're not baby spoons. They look like it, but I use them for like mustard and mayonnaise when I'm entertaining. Cheese and a big serving fork. Okay, so I got this whole thing out. Dirty thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm either going to clean it up and repurpose it or just throw it away. Okay. So what else we have in here is two scoops. This, I guess, is for coffee, but I never, it is for coffee, Starbucks coffee. I never use it. I think I got it from one of my students. Ice cream scoop, we don't use that much, so I think I'm going to put it in a different drawer. This, I'm not sure what to do with yet. Okay, I'm going to go, these I use every day. Scissors. Hmm, it doesn't fit there, though. Well, let's expand it a little bit more. I might have to play around with the size. And put some of these serving things here? Hmm, I don't know yet. The vegetable peelers, fruit peelers, I still use pretty regularly. This is an old set of measuring spoons. I'm going to let the baby play with them now, so I'm going to put them in the baby stuff. Measuring cups, I use those on a regular basis, so they need to be close by. Cupcake liners don't belong in here, so I'm going to put that in, find another home for, maybe in the other drawer. A wine stopper, my husband and I aren't really wine drinkers. We got this as a wedding gift for my cousin's wedding, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put that in the, maybe in the other drawer. And there's a bunch, oh, this is his fancy fancy silver spoon that he got. I don't know what to do with that. I want to hold on to it. Hmm, I'm going to sit there for now and then find a spot for it. 
Toothpicks don't belong in here. I don't know where they belong, but they don't belong in here. This I don't use that much. Apple core. I'm going to have to go in another one. Uh, my husband does use the opener. We've got two. We've got a nice one. I'll put the nice one in here. I'll put the extra in case we have a party and have company. Here's another wine opener. We both got one. Hmm. I don't know. Cookie cutters. They don't belong in here. I've got random lids to different sippy cups that I've tried. I'm not sure. Put that in the baby stuff. Um, let's see. I'm getting down. These little drink charms, wine charms, for summer, they're cute, but I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. I've got candles. Birthday candles. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. Let's put those over here. Not sure. And more wine charms. These are like Christmas wine charms. Bag clips. Another scoop. I'm not going to throw it away because it might be good practice for my baby, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, as a teacher, you know, we save everything. I had these for a project. They're like popsicle sticks. They're going in the garbage. Okay, getting near the end. I have a bunch of twisty ties in here. Another lid to another sippy. Bunch of bag clips. Oh, here's my measuring spoons. Those we need to keep handy. I use those on a regular basis. Not sure where I'm going to put the chip clips. What is this? I don't even know what this is. That's going in the trash. Um, candles. Oops. Matches. Another scoop. Okay, we're almost near the end. Okay, these little tabs, I've been looking for these. They go under my glass top table. And my son kicked one off the other day while we were having lunch. So, I'm going to keep that. Okay. I'm not keeping all of these twisty ties and rubber bands because I will just collect more and I don't know where I want to put them yet. So they're going in the garbage. And then I'm going to give a quick spray down because this is grimy in here, dirtier, way dirtier than I expected. So first just sponge. Oh gosh, there's stuff way back here. Chopsticks. I'll keep those. They don't belong in here though. And candles. These are kind of gross. They're gone. And the garbage. Okay. Oh, another one of those little sticky things that goes under my glass top table. Okay. I'm just, y'all, cleaning a little bit quickly just so that I can see if this expandable shelf fits in here nicely and see how much room I have for other things. So I'm going to give it a quick wipe down. Can you hear my baby in the back? He wants mommy to come play with him instead of organizing a drawer. But I just played with him for a long time. So mommy's got to get her work done too. Right? You all know how that is, that balancing act. Balancing between just having fun with your kiddos and getting projects done. Okay. Okay. It's not real clean. I'm going to do a better job, but for you all, so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm working with here, wipe it down really quick. Okay. That was really dirty. Way overdue for this project. Yikes. Okay. Let's stick this in and see if I. Okay. So it fit like that. Oh, there we go. I've discovered I have room in the back, too. So, or I could do room in the front, huh? I could even maybe get another organizer. Okay, I'll show you all what I did. I could put these in there. That I use all the time. Okay. 
let me show you how it looks. Sorry, I'm making lots of noise. Okay. Here we go. Sorry if it's shaky. Yay! Much better. It's not perfect. You know, I'd like to really um, give it a good scrub down. I'm going to have to play around with some of these things to find the best layout. Baby stuff is in the back. Um, spoons, forks, knives. This is serving stuff. And then some of our everyday stuff that we use. Wine opener, kitchen scissors, peelers, can opener, and then my measuring cups and measuring spoons. Pretty good. What do you think? Okay, so that was really pretty easy. It didn't take me that long. So go to Bed Bath & Beyond, buy that expandable shelf um, cutlery organizer. I may actually go back and buy another one for the next drawer. Okay, you all. Happy organizing. Bye.